Hey guys, long time no chat. Actually, I think it was like the other day I vlogged. Anyway, just wanted to catch up really quickly. It's currently 525 and it's the quality of the video looks different. I apologize. I don't have like another car mount um, for my camera. So I'm actually just using my phone since it's already hooked up there because I was using, or I am using the GPS which is why I can only talk quickly because I don't remember how to get to this store on my own right now. So currently driving to Home Depot to pick up some uh, mini blinds that I ordered because if you guys have seen my earlier videos, you'll know that my animals have completely destroyed the blinds in pretty much all the rooms. So um, I'm quickly just going to go pick them up. I'm picking up seven blinds, so that's... Um, five for the living room and the bedrooms and then the two for the French doors so I'm getting those and why it took me forever to do this today I don't know um, I got out of bed it took me forever I'm at a stop sign it took me forever to get out of bed and then my puppy is sick this morning because he you know is very sneaky and dipped into my seasoned turkey and rice so, and he also had been diagnosed with colitis a few weeks ago, so I'm pretty sure that agitated his colitis. And now he's having diarrhea. Definitely due for a vet visit, but it's kind of conflicting because I have to bring him to boarding anyway on Thursday morning. So I'm kind of wondering if I can avoid that fee or if I have to call them to let them know. I spent a lot of time cleaning up that whole mess, including giving him a quick little uh, bath in my second bathroom. And yeah, he's not using my bathroom. <laughs> and, um, you know, fed him and kind of watched him, walked him multiple times. Now it's later in the day. And also I had to feed myself, get ready. And then it took me forever to decide if I wanted to put on makeup or not. Doing my makeup and looking presentable and just kind of feeling good about myself. Well, it helps me feel better about myself and makes me feel put together. So the only thing I got to do is clean up at home so that I can, you know, just feel complete. And after Home Depot, I do have to stop at either PetSmart or Petco and get some specialty food for Miko because he just actually finished his Blue Buffalo. Um, and I was going to get the same brand again, but now that he's having all this stuff going on, I know at boarding they give him Royal Cannon for sensitive stomach. Um, but I think I'm just going to buy, the, I'll buy the same brand, but I'll give him the Puppy Formula one. So that is my uh, task for the day and I will do my best to bring you guys inside with me but I've kind of been getting uh, intermittent phone calls from friends and family today so I keep getting interrupted. I don't know how much of it I'll be able to do. Talk to you later. Okay so I'm here at Home Depot and I think it's really cool that I'm parked literally in front of where they are keeping all their Christmas trees that are freshly cut for Christmas. If I wasn't living on my own or if I had somebody to help me, I think I would definitely consider getting a real tree. But then comes that issue again about my cats and my puppy, more so my cats, messing with the tree and the Christmas ornaments and such. By the way guys, today my hair has zero mousse or hairspray in it. It is literally just the Fructis leave-in conditioner and Paul Mitchell's um, skinny serum, I think it's called. The anti-frizz serum or skinny serum. I don't remember. I'll <laughs> link them down below if you're interested. But yeah, I kind of like how it's like holding my hair together kind of like if I had mousse without like the alcohol and all that other crap that goes into it. And it kind of just like helps moisturize my curls. So really loving it. But let me go inside. I don't know if I'll show you guys around in there because I'm literally just picking up the blinds that I ordered. But I do need to get masking tape. So... I might go grab that too. Let's go. Okay, so I decided to do a voiceover because there were a lot of people in Home Depot and I didn't feel comfortable um, actually talking to the camera in public. I mean, I was quite obvious what I was doing anyway because here I come in with a, a camera, a Canon camera. It's not like I'm using my phone, but yeah. These are the doorknobs that I was just looking through and I surprisingly found the doorknob that matches the ones in my house. Hi guys, a few hours later 
And of course, you know, you go to one store, you just don't get one thing. You get many things. <laughs> So I am finally back from my Home Depot slash TJ Maxx slash Target slash PetSmart run and I didn't um, vlog in any of the other stores. Uh, I took a small clip um, in Home Depot to show all the doorknobs because I, after picking up my blinds, I wanted some doorknobs. And it, it's really nice that it actually matches the doorknob to my garage. So now they will all match and we know how I feel about matching. If it's not matching, I'm not complete. Let's just get right into what I got. Okay guys, so this is what I originally went for. No, not the baby gate you see there. And no, I'm not expecting a baby anytime soon. But this, the cordless blinds. Um, I'm hoping they fit. I haven't tried any of them yet, but we shall see about those. So, um, yeah, like I said, I didn't have much footage of anywhere that I went because I did give a heads up that I've been on the phone on and off with family, with friends throughout the day. It's just kind of like catching up with everybody. It's Sunday, so most people are home and they're catching up with me, of course. And I talk to my mom pretty much every day. She reminded me to look for the pet gates, which for those who don't know, they actually do have pet gates, like gates made for pets. But I was already there in Home Depot, so I said, well, let me just take a look at what they have. They most likely is gonna have a baby gate, and they do. Um, not sure how sturdy it is. It looks like it would be pretty sturdy. I mean, for his size right now anyway, I don't know if he's gonna get any bigger because he'll be one in January. But um, this one is actually, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, it's extra tall. It goes up to about my waist, which is pretty nice. While I was there, I remembered about, well actually no, I didn't remember. Again, thanks to mom, can't live without her. Um, she reminded me to get the doorknobs that I was mentioning uh, a couple of weeks ago of the, about my cats, because like I said, Max opens all the doors um, and it's kind of tiring to having to lock certain rooms all the time because he opens it. So I'm gonna just swap out all the doorknobs um, that have that little cheap looking gold handle. That, and that, and that. And I forgot to get one for the closet, but he doesn't really mess with it. Plus, um, the only reason why he manages to open them is because he uses body weight to push when he pulls down the handle. So I'm just gonna swap them out. And the cool thing, this is gonna be for my bedroom because it has keys, which is pretty nice. And then these, and I didn't even know that they match the garage door, but they do, and it's great, and I'm happy, super, super happy. Moving on to all the doggy things that you see here. Originally, I went for puppy food, because the cats don't need any food right now. They have a fresh new bag that I just opened up. But Miko just finished his, and since he's going for boarding soon while I go back up north, I figured let me just um, buy him some new food, and then let me get him something that he likes. So I bought Royal Cannon. It is the medium puppy formula um, for weights 23 to 55 pounds. I can link it down below, but I'm sure you guys wouldn't have a hard time finding it if you Googled it. Um, I was forced to get the large bag because they didn't have any more of the smaller ones. I kind of wanted to buy the smaller ones just to try it to make sure because I really hate wasting money. Plus, um, I don't know how fast he's going to be eating it. And I think he's really picky to the sense that if it starts to get stale, he doesn't eat it. So I kind of wanted to get the smaller bag. And I think after I go through this one, I'm just going to continue buying the smaller ones. And so that he, you know, I make sure he eats all of it. In addition to that, since he is a picky eater, I bought the Puppy Appetite Stimulation up to 10 months old. Um, it's just, you know, a little something extra to kind of motivate him to eat more. And it's also by Royal Cannon. And he loves wet food, so I guess it's kind of like a win-win. I tried this with him before, and he just gobbles it all up. And when I gave him the cup of the new Royal Cannon dry food, 
he ate a bunch of it immediately so I'm really hoping that the combination works I'm gonna leave him the uh, the dry food for now and then maybe before bed I'll mix in like a spoonful of the wet food because I really don't want him to be on only wet so I'll give him a little bit mix with the dry and kind of hope for the best of course I passed by and they had a freaking sale on the toys and I don't know if you've Heard me mention, maybe I haven't mentioned it to you guys. He has chewed and broken and destroyed every single toy I have bought him this year thus far. And he's gone through so much, so many toys, at least $200 worth already of toys. And as much as I'm sick of wasting money on things that he's going through in less than a month, I can't just not give him anything to play with. He is a border collie, he's smart, he needs to be stimulated somehow. I haven't found any durable puzzle toys for him yet because the ones that I were giving him, he was also going through and destroying rather quickly. So I need to find something that is gonna last a little longer. But, um, so yeah, pretty much everything here is Kong except for these things because these were, guys, $2.99, pet smart. Like, you can't go wrong, you know? I mean, I got him three because he loves these pull and tug toys. And as you can see, well, you can't see. I had tucked it back in here, but he's already managed to pull this out of its place. And then he chews on the end and he eats it. So I had to grab it away. And basically this toy can only be, as I'm playing it with him, I can't let him play with this on his own because he's definitely going to chew on this and eat it. So this is definitely just pull and tug play. And then when we're done playing together, I put it away. Um, Kong ball, the Kongs. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember seeing in previous footage he I actually bought him a bone that was like this look at him he's so smart come on off come on. um I bought him a bone the last time and I recently had to throw it away the other day because he basically chopped off a whole piece of it and was about to eat the plastic come here come here off come on off I also got him this too they have them in different sizes it doesn't have a specific like weight range I guess you can kind of just gauge what uh, size is appropriate for your breed of dog and the age based on how big they are um, The one that was bigger than this was super long and I'm like, yeah, no, I think that's too big for his mouth So I got him this color. I didn't like the other colors. They had blue was kind of the only one that really stuck out They had a red they had a green, but I was feeling more of the blue so I got him that <clears throat> I guess he doesn't want to play with that right now and um, from Target which I'm not, I can't, well, I can get into it, but this is a, a new harness that I got him. He, I had to really make sure it was like secured because he chews, when, once he gets to them, he chews on them so quickly. So this is like a mesh kind of material. I got it in this bright neon color. Number one, they didn't have anything else I liked. Number two, the other color they had was a black and a gray and well, what good would that do me if it just like blends into his coat, huh? So it has the two little um, loops here. Sorry, there's so much hair. It has the two little loops here, so, you know, for the leash. And that's it. I'm actually going to change his collar. This is his Sir Russell collar. Where's his random collar? I'm going to swap this out. Yeah, I got that to match his doggy bowl. And it's sad because I got him a large, um, no, 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 don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. I got him, I got him a larger, um, collar to match for when he gets older, but, you know, I have to stop doing that because I constantly change the colors and I try to get everything to match, but sometimes you catch a sale here, you catch a sale there, and things just don't match. I did get him a new leash, um, I, my, I have a backyard, guys, but it's not, uh, fenced in. Even animals that are trained well, they should always be on the leash outside with the public. So I got him this retractable Kong. It goes, it stretches up to 23 or 24 feet long, I think. So I'm not gonna test it out now because it's super dark outside. So I can't see if there's like any, you know, snakes or things of that nature that may jump and creep up on him and I don't want him getting hurt. So I got him this and I, I'm hoping it's gonna like last a long time and really be a great buy 
because I plan on taking him to the beach and stuff like that, but I want him to run. I want him to experience that without me being afraid he's gonna run into trouble or he won't come back or whatnot. They had another one that was for dogs who run, so it would automatically lock, but it kind of defeated the whole purpose of getting him a leash that gave him slack so that he can run. I was like, well, I'll buy this one first because this is the reason why I'm buying it. So I'm doing a voiceover because I was actually on the phone, but I quickly wanted to show you guys the rest of the items that I got. So I found duct tape that was in this nice taupey brown kind of color and it I guess it, it's close enough to match my carpets and I plan on using it to put at the end of my carpet so that my cats don't continue to scratch the, um, the rug, um, detaching it from the floor. In Target, I found my Pumpkin Spice Paleo Mix by Birch Benders. This is really, really tasty and it's add water, so it's really easy and fast to make. I am also gonna try for the first time the Spicy Mango with Jalapeno um, Chicken smoke, Chicken Sausage by Adele's. And in my cup of coffee, I plan on using the Pumpkin Spice Creamer that I also found at Target and this is an almond milk based creamer. It's by Califia Farms and I highly recommend trying any of their products. I've tried a few creamers and milk so far and I love everything they make. So the other thing that I got him aside from the harness is this cute bow. So festive for the holidays. Cute bow from Target. They had a one they had one that was all red but I mean, I, I was afraid this was too colorful, mostly because it had the pink and the yellow. But I was like, you know what? Real men wear pink, and he's a man's man, so pink it was. I have all three of my fur babies in the same room, at the same time, not fighting. Let's take a quick look. So here we have my baby boy. Sit, relax, relax, relax. And then there's Max over there, and then Miranda is laying on the windowsill, very stressed out. Here they go, bothering each other. Leave her alone, come on guys. Good boy, good boy. Yes, a good boy. My animals are all very needy and jealous of each other. Max is now sitting next to me because Miko was sitting next to me before. And he has that middle child syndrome like I've never seen. I mean, I've never seen it because I don't have any siblings and I don't have any children. So, middle child syndrome, I'm guessing. Anyway, I'm probably gonna just do some work on my laptop. It's currently 8.19. I work today. I had planned on being there by 9.30, 10 o'clock, and that's not happening due to the fact that Miko is still sick, he's vomiting, and there's blood in his diarrhea. The vet doesn't come in till about 9.30. I was gonna take this time to get myself ready for work. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I'm actually feeling really comfortable in this sweater. Also for just feeling tired and lazy. I'm about to make my cup of coffee soon because I took my medicine already, so it's been more than a half an hour. Yeah, I'm just doing that. He's here laying down, and the fact that he's um, very calm and not active, like his usual, he's just not himself, so that's another indicator. Like, I can't leave him here for 10 plus hours uh, and knowing that he's just not doing well and he's not eating. He didn't eat anything last night. And whatever he tried, the water that he drank, he vomited. So I don't anticipate on calling out today. Um, but like I said, I'll see how it goes. It shouldn't be anything too serious. Um, but if it is, I gotta, I guess I gotta deal with it, right? Everything has just been like bad timing. For right now, I'm just kind of, I'm gonna make my coffee and then I'm probably gonna do a little bit of editing because I don't know if I have time and then if I don't put this video out sooner, it won't make sense next week. <laughs> so let me just start doing that and I will update you guys on Miko's health a little later. All right, so we're getting ready to leave. The cats are locked away so it's just easier to come back home so I can quickly change for work. So 
Let's go. It is really cold outside, guys. Okay. Inside, good boy. Do I have my wallet? I do have a little pet cover there for him and he's just currently there in a ball. Let's get going and I'll update you guys later. Bye. Alright. Uh, it is currently 12.18. I am super uber late for work. Um, so what took the longest amount of time, I didn't get to update you guys while I was in there because I was in between making phone calls and talking to the doctor and all that stuff. Um, Nico has irritable bowel disease and the colitis and the diet indiscretion, which I'm sure it's the diet indiscretion that triggered the colitis and due to the diarrhea and the vomiting, everything's inflamed and he's in pain and all that stuff. So they gave him some pain meds. Um, they gave him some fluid. They gave me some probiotics for him and some Imodium pretty much. And one other thing, I think it's, um, I don't think it's an antibiotic, it possibly is. Basically spent a shitload of money this morning and I just submitted his bill to his insurance, which I'm probably not going to get much back or anything back because his deductible is 500 and he literally just met his deductible with today's bill. So that's a bummer. Um, what's more of a bummer is that I was not off today, so it's not like I can spend the day with him. Um, making sure that he eats his all of his food because the probiotic had to be mixed into his food and because he's still like not feeling well I'm just assuming he won't you know begin to really eat until he gains his appetite again so yeah that little baby boy cost me about $700 this week <laughs> that's a vacation somewhere <laughs> I pretty much, um, it took a long time there. I think I spent about two and a half hours there. But they were running all the tests, checking his pancreas, doing his blood work, doing a fecal sample to make sure it's not a parasite. And I'm so glad it's not a parasite. Um, and then they gave him some IV fluids, so, because he was dehydrated. And then they gave him something for the nausea, something for the diarrhea, something for the inflammation, something for the pain. And I'm hoping once this clears up, which probably will be by the time I get back to pick him up uh, next week. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog later because when I get home, it's really just like getting home, giving Miko his meds, checking on him, taking him out, um, cleaning up after whatever mess I left behind the past few days. I am almost at work so I will have a chat with you guys later and I'll keep you updated on how Miko's doing so bye good morning everybody don't mind the zip cream I had a big whopper there on when I woke up this morning well it started to come out yesterday and then this morning it just like doubled in size so I was just like while I get ready and do what I gotta do with everyone let me just try to calm that down a bit and then I'll just wipe it off before I leave. Or maybe I'll wipe it off when I get to work if I don't remember to take it off now because clearly I forgot to take it off while I started this vlog. I am up extra early today. It is a quarter to seven and you know, just gonna help out at work because, because sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. So anyway, I need to quickly make my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, I'm probably just gonna take like my garlic powder with me and then I'll season my carrots at work. So I have, um, they're the steamers, which are really nice. I'm gonna have some 
Kali mashed, mashed cauliflower. It's the roasted garlic flavor with one type of fish. And today I'm gonna have probably the salmon for lunch. And then I'm probably gonna have the tilapia for dinner. And then for breakfast, I'm going to make some eggs. This is my fruit serving because I haven't had fruit since I bought it and I haven't had fruit in a while. I have a ton of fruit in my fridge, frozen fruit, because clearly regular fruit doesn't last very long. And the bacon and of course, I mean, making my coffee over there. But of course, I'm going to have some pancakes because I love pancakes, and then I'm gonna grab a few uh, protein bars before, for my snacks at work. And my table is a disaster. Um, yeah, everything's been kind of a mess just because I've been thrown off with unexpected things, um, like my puppy getting sick, which made me go to work very late yesterday, but I think he's feeling better. Um, he did have an episode of diarrhea yesterday when I got home, so I had to clean that up, but it wasn't as much as the other days. And then this morning when I got up, um, nothing. Although I know he's still having it because I, obviously I take him to go walk, but at least he was able to kind of hold it. So that's good. I think that's an improvement. And then I just hooked up the baby gate, guys. This is insane. I don't have human children, but... This baby gate, though, is a complete um, game changer. So I, I mean, it took about 15 minutes of installation just because I was figuring out like the sizes because it comes with an extender. And you can install it one of two ways. They have the little, um, the little suction cups. They're not, they're not really suction cups, but the little cups that you can actually screw into the wall for better, um, you know, for to make it more sturdy. And these are like the simple instructions. It, I mean, literally it took 15 minutes once I figured out how tall or how long I needed the extender, which I ended up just using the extra large portion of it. Um, and because I have molding on the bottom, I had to kind of lift it up to make sure it got onto the wall so that it's just sturdier. Anyway. Let me get going. Let me finish up making my breakfast and my lunch and everything. I'm probably gonna see if I could bake my fish. And then I will chat with you guys later. If not, and this is my final blog, which I'm not sure because I have to bring me go to boarding tomorrow. So I don't know if I'm gonna have time to record that because I'm planning on dropping him off really early at 7 a.m. when they open. And then I have to go over all of his medications and whatnot. So, um, that's probably gonna take a while. Anyway, chat with you guys later. Bye. Okay, so it is currently 9.54. I am still at work. So, for anyone who wonders or wondered what type of nurse I am, I am a hemodialysis nurse. So, let me switch the camera around and I'll just give you a quick little tour. So obviously everybody's gone. This is our wonderful unit. We are cleaning and locking up and getting it ready for the next day. And yes, we have our Christmas decor out, which actually has been out even prior to Thanksgiving. So um, it is a nice little unit. There are 16 stations and it's so pretty. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, this is a dialysis machine. Um, so this is an actual dialyzer. This is what filters the blood. This is the pump that keeps the blood warm. And this is the little sensor that makes sure air doesn't get into the lines so that the patient doesn't receive air. So we use big old saline bag for our, our lines. We use streamlines and I love streamlines. I think they're so easy to set up. They're so easy to use. They're really short and compact. So we give less saline and the patients lose less blood ideally because for anyone who knows dialysis, we know that patients don't get 100% of their blood back because some blood cells still linger in the lines. 
so the streamlines are shorter they're so amazing and I like this um, model this is the Fresenius 2008T and it comes with the computer feature on it so you can actually access the chart and everything and document straight on chairside which is so convenient so easy it's better to just kind of document it you're right here you can talk to the patient you can you know do multitask better um, when you're working from the computer and then this is the little mouse pad so awesome so that is my unit this is my unit um, and tomorrow I am off. Tomorrow is going to be an extremely busy day for me. I have to drop off Miko um, really early and then I have to get myself together. I have to wash clothes. I have to clean the house. I have to get the cat situated. I have to pack and then I have to drop off my car and parking by 7 p.m. So I have about a little less than 12 hours. I have about 10 hours to do everything that I need to do and then I'll be off. So um, I'm probably gonna end this vlog here and anything that I film from tomorrow on, if I film, will be for the next video which I won't get to edit until I come back next week. So if you like what you saw, please hit like down below and if you wanna see more, then click on subscribe. Bye.